Hey guys, Roxbox90 here with another Dragon's Maze spoilers video. So, I'm super excited that these are coming out so regularly. And be right before we get to one of the most crazy spoilers so far, I'm just going to say that, look, I hit 900 subscribers. You guys have been really awesome coming along for the ride, and the next stop is 1,000. So, really looking forward to that. That'll be really exciting. So, let's go into the spoilers. We have a spoiler that is not quite a spoiler, but MTG Salvation's people have put it together and pretty much think it's real. Uh, I forget, I don't know if this guy's a judge or something, but at the game day promos, for at his store at least, were the top eight get a foil full art Melek is a paragon, and there's a card called Tristani Summoner that he talks about, which I presume is the non-foil one, so it'd probably be full art or semi-full art. And it's five, a green and a white, so seven mana, it's a bit costly, but it's an Elf Shaman. When Elf Shaman enters the battlefield, put a 2-2 white creature with Vigilance, a 3-3 green center token, and a 4-4 green rhino token with Trample. And it's a 1-1. So, it's an alright card. I don't see it being constructed playable, because for that cost, which it's a lot, there are just better cards, especially in the green-white colors. But at the same time, it is probably going to be a really, really good minted card. Just because it makes you raw power for the field. It seems like a really good limited card. I don't really see it being used in constructed playable. But it would be cool to see. Hopefully they have nice artwork and it's a cool promo. Then we have a, another spoiler, which is actually in... And I'm not sure. Oh, Japanese. Armed and Dangerous, which is really flavorful. I really like that, those choice of words. It's armed is one in a red. It's a sorcery. Target creature gains one plus one and double strike until end of turn. And dangerous is three in a green. All creatures able to block target creature do so this turn. So it's a lure effect. So you confuse them, of course. So giving a creature a little boost and double strike and then forcing other creatures to block, it could be pretty good. Six mana is a bit much for that, I think. But I like its versatility and I think it's one of the better ones shown so far. And lastly, we have Lavinia the Tenth of the Tenth. Why can't it just be Lavinia the Tenth? It's three, a white, and a blue for a 4-4 four, four pro red. It seems kind of random. When it enters the battlefield, detain each non-land permanent your opponent's control with convert amount of cost four or less. And remember, detain, since you haven't seen it in a little while since Return to Ravnica, it's those permanents can't attack or block or use their activated abilities. That is really, really good. Really good. Not just good. Really, really good. Easily constructed playable. It's fantastic. In a Bant deck, would it take the spot of Thrag Tusk? Right now, there might be more question about it, just because everything is more mid-range these days, and so things that cost four or less are not as particularly powerful but it, remember it is a permanent so it does lock down planeswalkers which is really good and it will probably be more important once this thrag tusk moves out in september it'll probably be a much more powerful card and since it's a rare i would think to try to grab at least a couple of these even if they're not going to be the hugest splash in standard not saying they won't be i don't i'm not really sure she's definitely powerful and i'm not quite sure how powerful she will be but she really hurts red deck wins. Very, very hard to deal with her in red deck wins. And in fact, any deck that um, tries to use red in, in aggro is going to find her being a real pain. She also locks down aggro really well. She's good. It's all about EDH. She is really, really solid. I'm not quite sure how well she'll work in stacks decks. 1v1 for sure, she'll be powerful. Um, you have cards like Grand Arbiter, which already fill the blue-white slot of being unfairly annoying and awesome. In, as a stacks card for these colors, but I like Lavinia as a pretty, pretty nice alternate to Grand Arbiter. And since Grand Arbiter has such hate in stacks, I think she's going to be less of a problem that way. I could see her seeing more play, especially among larger multiplayer groups, than Grand Arbiter. And I think she is a very, very powerful card to be built around. And of course, everyone can see in limited she's going to basically make you win the game. So that is Lavinia, that is Armed and Dangerous, and that is our game day promo heads up. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for future spoilers. Let me know what you think below in the comment section. And as always, Rocks and 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.